was actually well timed. I was looking away from the uh, the uh, computer for a moment there. Uh, hey, I'm here. I took a couple days off. I had to do voice acting stuff, and I wasn't in the best of moods, so I was kind of like, eh, I'll just skip streaming for a little bit. It's fine. I'm not gonna fall behind, even though I feel like I'm falling behind every day. Cluck Cluck Master Onion. Hey, Atman. That's a good reference. I like, uh, I like Parappa. I've only played the PSP version of the original, which I think is just a direct port, but it's, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Buff Yoshi, I like that. Parappa, man. Okay, first off, let me continue on this so that music stops playing. Um, Parappa was such a weird game. Like the, 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 I don't know if it was just the PSP version, but button presses in that would never match the beats. I'd always have to hit them like super early for them to work, and I never got the hang of freestyling at all. Also, I'm looking at my stream preview. And not my actual stream. One second. Preview. And not my actual stream. Okay. That sounds good, actually. If my mic is a little too loud, let me know. I had to adjust it when I was doing recording, which uh, you could actually listen to a recording I did uh, on Twitter right now. Twitter. Waddle Dee Rockers, yes. Once you beat the game, you get a sound test that comprises of Waddle Dee's. Their, st their stage was actually like a little, like, platform before. It was like a little, like, it wasn't a platform. I actually had to give them a thousand coins to make them, to upgrade them. But you can actually change the, the menu music. And it does stick. Um... Yeah, so I was kind of away for a few days. Uh, nothing really happened. I just was been getting used to work, working at the time I have because it's 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 gotten a little easier. But I'm I was very tired the last few days after work. I think today was the first time I actually was like done and managed to do a lot afterwards. Because um, if you didn't know, I'm working I'm working from 11:30 to 8 now instead of 12:30 uh, to 9 or 1:30 to 10, and that two hours does make a difference. Why mouth? Um, so I did do a few things off stream, though, while while I was doing other stuff. Uh, first and foremost, I got every figure I can get right now from Volume Four. The rest of these are all uh, locked for the time being, so I don't have all 43 of them. But I do have every single one I can get. Work, yeah. Uh, what else? There's a couple other things I did. I took screenshots. Big rig, yes. The big rig was great. Um, there was another fish that I didn't catch here yet. There was an even bigger one than the big fish. I was grinding for money off stream because I wanted to use the gotcha machine. It's expensive. So I got a goldfish worth 10,000 grams, and it gives you 500 uh, coins when you catch it was very happy about that. Uh, big. Yes, 10,000, 10,273. It's my new record. Uh, I did get a bunch of new trophies that have descriptions as well. Adventure together. B Bandana, Waddle Dee, and Elphalyn have joined Kirby's Victory Dance. Kirby's dancing is cute and carefree, but his singing voice is super powerful. Let's all sing with them next time. Woohoo! Great job, Kirby. Grams, yes. Some Gs. Uh, Peaceably on Soul, that's actually kind of spoilery. I don't want to read that one out loud yet. It actually kind of spoils what's happening. So I can't believe they're canonically tiny, yeah. Here sits the powerful commander of the Ferocious Beast Pack. He's become a pawn for an invading specimen from beyond the stars, tasked with gathering food, capturing the Waddle Dee's as a power source, and most importantly, retrieving the lost subspecimen tagged as IDF87. Uh, the Phantom Bosses all have trophies. The real Chloraline asks Kirby to help her save Liangar. This Phantom Feline is a fake. Formed from negative thoughts and powerful psychic energy, this wild beast doesn't seem to care about Liangar at all. She may be an illusion, but her claws will cause real damage. Uh, Phantom Goromondo. This illusory beast was created with powerful psychic energy in a realm of dreams. It's not the real Goromondo, just a phantom made of negative thoughts, but it's still incredibly strong. Since it's based on memories of the real Goromondo, it can't resist a fruity snack. Uh, then we got these. A duel with Meta Knight. Meta Knight arrived in the New World shortly before Kirby. 
He did some early scouting and reached as far as the snowy north before deciding to return and protect the town. Now he keeps watch for beastly invaders from his perch by the Colosseum. He's battled Goromondo 30, time, 30 times and won every bout. Uh, so it turns out that's not actually... A st I thought that was like a statue of Meta Knight on the, on the Colosseum. It isn't. That's just him standing there. Uh, Fecto Forgo Lava, Larva, excuse me. When IDF-86 arrived, it began attacking all of the native wildlife. The creature was captured soon after and turned into a test subject. The native inhabitants used it to create tech beyond their wildest dreams. They eventually used that tech to leave the planet altogether, but IDF-86 remained, forgotten and fractured. Why would they leave it behind? That thing would be way too dangerous. Napping Beast. The Beast Pack lives among the remnants of a civilization that left this world far behind. They may not know how to use everything they find, but they always enjoy the simple pleasures, like the scent of pine that lingers on a Woofie's favorite napping spot. 86, yeah. Destined Rivals. Planet Pop Star's Destined Rivals. That's how King DDD usually describes this special relationship, so he was crestfallen when he arrived in the New World and couldn't find Kirby. By the time they finally met, DDD had changed from friendly rival to menace. Oh, 86 is Haru, which is the phonetic pronunciation of Hal in Japanese. Oh, wow. That's actually interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, Phantom King DDD. I actually got this one, like, right after the, the rivals, which also is really, really fun that it, like... Dee Dee doesn't really see Kirby as an enemy. He kind of sees him as a rival rather than anything. And he's he's like, yeah, well, you're still my friend. Uh, Phantom King Dee Dee. Dee Dee Dee's an interesting villain because he's not really a villain. He's more of like an anti-hero. Anti-hero, excuse me. This Dee 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 double is made up of powerful psychic energy. It's an illusion of the king based on memories of his embarrassing turn under F-86's control. Forced to work for Leongard and capture Elphalyn. He has no memory of Kirby or the adventures they've shared. It's little more than a haughty, hollow husk. Uh, Fecto Forgo. This invading species, alone and incomplete without Elphalyn, was trapped in the Eternal Capsule. Their only refuge was in the realm of their dreams. Those dreams spread powerful waves of psychic energy all over the world, slowly taking control of the animals they reached. Escape would require more energy. So that's pretty much explaining that uh, the reason all the animals were working for uh, Fecto, Forgo, whatever... Um, is because it was using its dreams to admit psychic controlling a power on them. And somehow it affected DDD because he's, you know, an, um, an oaf. I purposely skipped that, uh, the piece of Leon's soul because the storyline for it, it actually says what the storyline is, even though the game hasn't technically revealed that. So we'll do that tonight. Oh! Not to mention the event that happened 30 years ago. You know what else happened 30 years ago? Yes. It's, uh, it was the first... It was when Kirby came out, and that's when they left the planet, which leads me to believe that the people who left the planet originally, f like... Because they left for a world of dreams, and Dreamland is in Popstar. Also, I wouldn't normally show this off, but, uh... Nintendo added in, uh, Kirby icons in their, like, new, like, platinum point, uh, icon thing that you could, uh, go through. Which is really cool. Yeah, shh. Yeah, they have new Kirby icons. These are going to switch every Thursday, so there'll be more. So I got a few of them. Uh, I got a, I got most of the backgrounds because they're really good. I like how they have the actual, like, circle uh, sig symbols as icons because the, the switch icons are circular. So my current icon is, um... My current icon is, is DDD in front of the uh, Coliseum. Which is really neat. I like that. I, I love DDD's design in this game. Uh, so yeah, that's actually Meta Knight up there. I just noticed he's actually moving. <laughs> that's not he's not, not a statue. Also, right here was the thank you Meta Knight. Have you wondered why the Beast Pack stopped attacking and left this town alone? You certainly helped when you arrived, Kirby, but... The Waddledees told me that Meta Knight has been fighting to protect the town all on his own. He keeps watch day and night. He's even doing it right now from that perch up there. Gosh, Meta Knight is so strong and so cool. Meta Sun is so cool. Something is written on this wall. Thank you, Meta Knight. Is this a present code? So thank you, Meta Knight is the one that gives you three rare coins or three rare, uh, three rare stones originally. Then uh, Brawling Coliseum is right here, which we've also we've done all the codes already. I think we've talked to DDD already at this point. We uh, we had that whole conversation with them, which isn't even with him. It's with the the Waddle Dee in front of him. So, I'm 79% done, and I looked it up. You do not need to do 
target times on the treasure roads to get more percentage. You just need to beat all the treasure roads. You need to fully upgrade all the equipment. You need to beat all of the stages, collect all the rare stones. That includes in the post-game area, too. And then you need to do all of the arena. Still look at your Nintendo account. You keep forgetting to call to remove the two-factor authentication. Don't you have the backup codes? Excuse me. Oh, wait. You need, the, you need to call them with the backup codes, though, for it to work, don't you? <coughs> Excuse me. Forgo Dreams. So we're... Excuse me. You don't remember where you put the backup codes? Oh no. That sucks. So we're four levels into the uh, the post game area out of seven. Though I really think it's just six. I don't think there's actually gonna be a level at the end there. Uh, we have to get all the pieces of Leon Gar Soul, or Leon Soul as they refer to it here. And there's also a rare stone in each level. It's warm here right now, it's gonna get warmer. It is... Okay. It's cold here right now, and it's gonna get a little warmer, but it's been rainy, so it's been very... very cold as a result. I'm actually wondering what's gonna happen when I go to PAX in two weeks, because I've been told that Boston is... Pretty chilly in the spring and, and winter, but also I think PAX East this year is a lot earlier than it's been in other years. Usually it's in like March. This is my first time going, so it's going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting thing. Anyway, so if I've read this right, the only things I have left to do in this game are finish the post-game, get good drill break. The only things I have to left do left to do is finish this post-game area, do both of the arena things that, that unlock, and then um, I guess get all the gotcha figures and, and finish the last treasure road. Is are there targets here? No. Wait, here's this stuff. God, this. Thank you, Celine. Also, hey. <clears throat> Excuse me. This weekend's gonna be pretty... It's gonna be like 50s. 50s. High 50s. I think it's gonna stop raining tomorrow. I hope. I really hope so. I'm so sick of the rain. Oh, I can break those with drill. Nice. I was actually just watching a video uh, by K&I, who I've watched... I watched his uh, Mega Man Battle Network videos, because he's been doing, like, a retrospective of the series. Uh, he actually did a, a video on Star Allies a while back, before this game was even announced. And, um... It does make me want to try it at some point. I was originally off-put by Star Allies, because it seemed like a very long experience to do everything in it. Like, I probably wouldn't do the here the, the, the helper or the, the star ally mode with every single character on stream just because it's like it's like 30-something characters and it, it apparently takes like an hour each, so it's like, oh man, it's kind of a lot. Also, Soul Melter. <laughs> After pretty much playing this whole game now, I think I could probably give some uh, some more advanced opinions on it, but I don't really have much to say. I mean, it's good. It's fun. It's a Kirby game. 
It's pretty much just Kirby, but 3D. Like, there's there's really not much else to say about that. If you like Kirby, you like this. I would say the only real gripe is that it really feels like Kirby kind of moves a little too slowly, because it's the same movement speed as, like, the side-scrolling games. That'd be a reason for the lift. Yeah, there was. I, I broke it. I, I broke the box at the end there. said tonight might be the finale. Who's dissing Nightmare in Dreamland? Wait, who who is dissing Nightmare in Dreamland? That game's that game's great. I actually never played Kirby's Adventure. That was the way I first experienced it. I mean, people. I, I know someone's compl people complain about butter building not being as good in Nightmare in Dreamland, just because it doesn't have the the cool like movement effect that it does when you go around the circle. But uh, it's still pretty good. The backgrounds in Nightmare in Dreamland were really like you don't really pay attention to them because you know they're in the background. But if you look at the backgrounds for that game, they're very very detailed for a GBA game. like that game a lot, but I'm still, yeah, ASDF over the secret room at the very end. Oh. The one in the Kirby 1 stage. Also, it reminds me, I haven't gotten any of the Howl rooms. I know where two of them are, but there's apparently a third one. ones I got. Um, the Howl Rooms? I haven't gotten any of them yet. I know I, I know where they are, but I haven't gotten them. I haven't gotten any of them. I'll show you where two of them are. I know there's one more, but I can't remember where it is. One I saw Vinny get. The other I, I looked up, but uh, I know the whereabouts of them. It makes sense where one of them is, and it's also got a very, very funny way of, uh, of activating it, because it has to do with a very specific, um, number, which, come to think of it, I don't know why I didn't realize it, because the number literally just came up a minute ago. Why did I do that? Nah, eh, whatever. Took you years to find it. Oh, <laughs> oh! Did I lose the ability? Oh, that sucks. Water balloon. Up oh, there's a soul right there. Spike. Spike. I like how the spike ability works in this game. How it's like um, if you hit enemies. Uh, it, it speeds it up. So you could, in theory, keep it going permanently.
I'm so full of cigarettes. Yum. Flowers bloom. Are there more flowers that I missed? Yep, over here. Nice. But yeah, I was thinking about Star Allies. That might be a game I look into at some point, but it's like... It's definitely not a game I'll do 100% on stream if I play it. If anything, I'd probably do the bonus mode with just a few specific people, like, um, like, uh, Marks and Adeline. I don't think this is where this rare- I, I looked up where the rare stone is here. Um, it's in the Moonlight Canyon area. Which is probably the next spot. Oh, no, we're in the mall. Okay, maybe it's the spot after this. Like I said, another minor complaint I had is this game, I think, um, is a little too... Like, it, it, you, lose your abil when you lose your ability a little too easily. Like, I'm pretty sure the poison's an instant loss, no matter what, but I do feel like some of the, um... Sometimes I'll take, like, an enemy hit and just, like, get wrecked. I mean, Kirby's Adventure was like that, too. Kirby's Adventure, it was always one hit, and you lost your ability. I think it was Superstar that really fixed that. Or was it uh, Kirby 2 on the Game Boy? I can't remember. I don't like that there is a... Uh Oh, you know what? I get it. If this runs out, there's no way I'd be able to get over here and, and survive that. Oh, also, I was required. I do find it funny that this sound effect in this room... Not sound effect, but like the... the like the... the... The fact that the sound actually, like, mutes itself is still present even in this version of the level. A Woofies. Yes. They are an excellent replacement for Waddledees. I love them being, like, the generic enemy of the game. Using that there doesn't come back to bite me in the ass later. Kirby throwing these bombs like that reminds me of. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, cool. I can just leave now. I don't mind that popping up as soon as you get them. I feel like they should have made it so, like, if you're close to the door, Elphalum would say something. Because then it's like, okay, well, now I don't have to look for anything here. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Is there anything down here? Yes, there is. I've noticed that there's only one capsule in these levels because there's, like, so few... There's so few, uh, capsules in this series that just aren't locked behind stuff. Okay, cool, I got an attack buff. I was gonna grab the cutter, but okay. Bed and everything, yep. Okay, this area I think has the rare stone in it for the stage. Watching Lulz play B Bloodborne last night, and man, I uh, I gotta be honest, like the, like the whole like Soulsborne genre never really appealed to me. But I gotta say, watching him play Bloodborne was like, made me kind of want to try it. I'm like, this actually looks like I'd enjoy this. But it's also like, if I'm gonna play a, if I'm gonna play a, a Soulsborne, a, a FromSoft game, why am I not gonna just play Elden Ring? Dead? No. I'm just, uh... No, no, no. Don't break. Do not break. See a bomb block over there. There it is. That's the rare stone. You do need to I think you do need to get the rare stones in these stages to get the uh to get full completion percentage. souls left. 
So there's nine left. So they're probably all in this area. Oh, this is the... Oh, this is cool. So they're essentially replacing the uh, the light bulb segment from this world with a... Uh, with a, a light the lantern segment. Past the soul? Uh oh, where? What was it? Oh, wow, you're right. Shit, I almost missed that. Thank you. I've heard so so the video I was watching was talking about the one of the bonus modes the, like the the post game or the post launch bonus mode in Star Allies and it's apparently really hard because you only get like one chance to get this it's like a, it's kind of like this where you have to collect pieces of a soul but every time you run through it you have to start from the beginning Inverted Silly Dillo. Uh, these are both good abilities. I'm going to stick with Fire, though. It's purple now. Phantom Silly Dillo. Oh, I love the Hypno Eyes. Actually, no, then never mind. That looks awful. <laughs> you can just knock these down. I don't think they do any damage, but... Also... The cage move, um, if you stay in there too long, if he catches you, uh, it's an instant death. And it's the only instant death move in the entire game, apparently. This, this is new. Ooh. Those are bombs. There we go. What is this? This is new. Yeah, that's see dragon look at look at that. Look how much damage he's still taking. He's still taking damage, look. I 
I cannot believe the game does never describe how to do the perfect dodge. Because that is, like, essential for getting through some of this later stuff without taking a hit. Also, yeah, I found out you don't have to upgrade any, uh, you don't have to upgrade any abilities, like, give them more power. That's just there to, if you really want to do that. Which is good, because that's really expensive. And I don't want to have to grind for it. <laughs> Forgo Zone. I'm guessing that has 51, 51 shards. Yep. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm gonna go back to Waddle Town. I'm gonna do the two of the Howl rooms real quick. And I'll look up the third one. Also, I think I can get another statue now. Can I? Yes, I can. I could get- I could get the next boss. I could get Silly Dillo. No, this is probably a wasted effort doing this like this. Oh, it's that, that one I don't want to read. <laughs> but I got him. Formed from the strong psychic energy and modeled on specific memories of his role in the real world, the phantom copy of Silly Dillo will forever wander for will forever wander forego dreams, searching high and low for Elflin and Kirby. At least its dance moves are still impressive. Armor plated illusion. It might be better for me to just unlock the rest and then come back for that. Also, I think once you've fully unlocked all the... Or once you've beaten the post-game, there's a Waddle Dee that shows up here that you could give him a rare stone, and he'll give you a guaranteed uh, missing statue. So I guess that's kind of good, but altogether not super necessary. <laughs> Something you notice, but don't know if there's any significance to it. What is it? You can tell me. <laughs> At this point, there's really not a whole lot to spoil. It's just, I, I i mean, like, you could probably figure out what's going on, but I, I don't want to read that one trophy just because it straight up says what, what this post-game plot is. And it's really weird that they let you unlock it this early on. Okay, uh, the first Howl room is here. It's in the third level. Elphalin and Elf... Elphalin... Yeah, Elphalis. Elphinus... Elph... I don't remember. It's, um... It's because they're both part of the same being. Oh, like north and south? I don't know. This is a requirement for doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to be safe.
Also, just couldn't hurt to get a couple more coins. Could be that. North and South, which could be several things, including magnetic poles, yeah. it could also be positive and negative. Oh, that's a good way of thinking. That's a, that's a neat way of looking at it. I should probably look that up, see if there's any instance of that uh, being confirmed or not. Okay, now we slurp the car. Oh, failed the bonus mission. And again. That I don't need it. Okay, so get the first HAL room. I don't know where it is, but somewhere around here is like a target. I think. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Here, huh? Well, now I feel like a ding dang fool. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna look it up because I don't want to waste too much time on this. Forgotten land. How rooms. All three secret how rooms. Cool. Here we go. Rocky Rolling Road. The for the first how room. Make it the very end of the level and look in the background for a distant target you could hit with the ranger's gun. Yeah. Make it to the very end of the level and look in the background for a distant target. So there is a target somewhere here. Hold on. right corner. Is that it? Right over there? higher. That's a, kind of a problem because I can't really do that. The camera is does not want to cooperate in that regard.
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. Oh, the, the target didn't appear until I got up there. That's why. And then we unlock the Hall of Origin. Alright, who's ready to catch Arceus again? Actually don't know what these rooms look like, so this is all new to me. I D F A Elf F. Ah. Also, uh, fun fact: these abilities here, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're like this from the beginning. So you can actually get these abilities like way earlier than you should be able to. Great if you can get Smash in this game. I wish I would love the Smash ability coming back. It's like one of the best parts of Amazing Mirror. Also, I like the use of melons for secret food, because I'm pretty sure Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's story does that too, like melons being like the, the special food that usually indicates uh, like secrets. I think it's kind of like a cultural thing about in, in Japan with uh, melons. Remix is good. When else do you hear this in the game? any secrets here, right? You hate melons. I don't mind melon. Like, I like a melon soda. Actually, now that I think about it, I kind of want to get that tomorrow. You know, get something that... Like sushi and melon soda. That said, um... I, I have been kind of in the mood for fish and chips again, so I might get stuff something from the chippery tomorrow. Look, they put... That's weird. Why, did they, why is that there? Watermelons are okay, mostly. I, I like most fruit, honestly. There's very few fruit I won't eat. I guess if you want to go back to the gun, if you want to go back to the gun power. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the next one is in the parade. And this one, this one's actually interesting how you unlock it. I, this is the one I saw Vinny do.
And I mean, it makes sense that there'd be a Howl room in this level, in the parade level. This is the celebration level of all places. Ow. I don't know why I'm grabbing these. I, I have every figure up to this point. There's nothing else I could get from them. Melon pens are just so good, you want to stuff your face full of them. I I want to try melon bread. I'm wondering if it's like the same kind of thing as like what they do with Taiyaki, where it's like filled? I haven't had Taiyaki in a while. I haven't had a lot of food in a while. It's getting really hard to get certain types of food and that's annoying me. This, but of course, I'm gonna do it again. Seven in Japan, Japanese can be pronounced Shichi or Nana. Yes, I, I would always. I was actually thinking about that the other day because I would never remember Shichi, I'd only ever remember Nana. And I felt weird because I knew not everyone used that pronunciation. Strawberry Sandos are seriously at a different level. You don't know how to explain it. Sandos. Can't stand strawberry. I'd say grape is probably my least favorite fruit, but even those I can eat if they're fresh. I really like grape juice. Grape juice is really good. So this is the room where you have to, uh, you have to unlock the shortcut to do this in five seconds. Uh, but there is actually another secret here. Love grapes. Grew up eating them wild. Oh, wow. Mangoes, I like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, pineapple, uh, apples. Apples I'm a kind of particular with. I like um, I like uh, Granny Smiths. I'm not a big fan of the standard uh, red and yellows. Golden Delicious. Actually, I don't. I haven't really eaten Golden Delicious before. That's not true. I will eat red apples, though. I'll eat, uh, standard, uh, stock standard apples, but Granny Smiths are more sour, so... Pineapple on pizza? I don't hate it. I've mentioned this before. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, but if that's the only type of pizza available, or if it is available with other types, I will probably at least have a little bit. There we go, there's the second Hal room. Buy some apples. It's funny because you have to retry this room in order to in order to do this. Like pineapple on pizza, no shame in that. Yeah, no. It's it, there's nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza. I think it's fine. Especially if there's ham on it too. See you again, Hao Haru 86. I feel like doing with 86 should should give you the prizes here too. Use the 
same music. <laughs> I think the last one's in the lava area. Hachiroku. So ha ro. Ow. Seems to me though, like how would be uh, it should be Haru, but ha do. Whatever. I guess it could be either or. Vowel signs are vowel symbols are kind of they're either everything in Japanese or they're nothing. <laughs> tomato's Tomato is a good fruit too. I like tomatoes. I have this thing where whenever I get on a plane, I drink tomato juice. I don't know why. Right, I think the last one's in Burning Churning Power Plant. Yeah, no in between. Oh boy, this level again. I'll check something. Oh, you can't actually see your percentage completion here. this whole spot. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Alright, uh... Hand the level. During the section with the, the walls attempt to crush you, get on top of the final set of walls and enter the control room on the left. Oh! Okay, so I, that's absolutely, absolutely the exact opposite of what I should have been doing. Oh, great, now I have to start this fucking stage over. God damn it. Oh, this one's interesting. Okay. All right, this this one's very interesting. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can do this without recalling the guide every step of the way here. Yeah, no, they're probably- it's probably totally intentional, the naming schemes. Like, everything Al does with Kirby is intentional. Especially now that they know the fans love the lore. 
They go hog wild with that stuff. to the control room. Now if we head back this way, Oh yeah, look at that! That's wild! Who would, who would think of doing that? Crazy. Oh, and you see, I start with eight hundred and sixty cans. Perfect. They're absolute masters of their craft. everything. Nice uh, 8-bit rendition of this music, too. Very good. all the howl rooms. That's cool. Like the first two, like the first one I could maybe get. The second one, I would never think to wait that long. And this one's just like, wow, why would you backtrack all that way? <laughs> How far is this? Oh, it really it just dumps you right there. So you still have to go through the rest of the level. <laughs> I 
from when I tried doing the Don't Get Swish challenge and I, I lost it immediately. <laughs> More shiny pretty coins, yeah. funny that the game kind of implies that Kirby is Kirby with abilities is still weaker than like human creations like a soda machine like the soda cans can break metal blocks but all of Kirby's nuclear powered abilities can't do anything I'm building up my coins again. Not that I really need them anymore. Outside of the gotcha machine, there's only... Well, there's one more ability upgrade, and then there's also, I think, um, another upgrade for the uh, the sound test. And then there is, a, there is a figure tied to fully upgrading that as well. Wow. It's so weird. Like, I don't know what... The only thing that's constituting his completion right now is beating this post-game. Like, none of the gacha figurines, even though apparently it's required for 100%, it's not currently doing that. Anyway, one more uh, rare stone and level here, and then we're gonna finish the post-game area. Forgo Zone. They look at the technology to capture a being who create portals to other worlds, yeah. I guess it stands to reason that their soda machines would be super powerful. Came from the soda demand. Yeah, e E86 brought it from the soda dimension, which he destroyed. So these torches can be put out. Well, the 
fact that these coins are going off here leads me to believe that there's something in there. Yep. something something there technically it's a happy ending for the beast pack well yeah the, the thing is that we're never really evil to begin with they were being s sleepily mind controlled by uh e e87 of jack links because I had technically two left from the box I got a couple months ago but now this week I blew through like three of them that being said I'm probably going to stop I'm going to take a break from eating them for a bit so I'm probably still going to end up with quite a few by the end of the month especially since, since I'm not going to be here for the equivalent of two weeks at the end of this month anyway and I'm going to have company over this weekend so probably not going to be indulging in that snack too much all they want to do is go to the land of dreams the inhabitants went to, and thanks to Kirby and and they managed to do it. Yeah. That's a good way of looking at it. Ladder. Bomb. Hidden bomb. I like this version because it puts an interesting spin on how this works. Because normally when Cutter hits a, a wall, it's 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 done. But here, it hits a wall, it's just going to keep ricocheting. Especially if there's multiple walls in close proximity. This conveyor belt is super fast. It isn't the best ability to have here. I should probably just get a bomb. Oh, 
wasn't smart either. Looks like an Adeline must be from this planet. It's possible, because... Think about it. If Adeline was on Popstar in Kirby 64... She might be from Earth. Like, her family might be from Earth. That's interesting, too. Like, when you think about it, there are humans in this series. We just don't see them very often. Yeah, it is. this what uh, hey whoa okay it's my first death the stream it's the idea human once so I want an artist cosplaying k64 oh yeah I mean did you want to come eat with us at uh at, F at FWA I almost said FAU. Like, nope, that's that's dead. FAU's gone. And it's never coming back. Did I lose everything I gained here? Hold up. Yes, I did. It didn't it I did not hit a checkpoint, so it didn't save any of this. Human like beings, yeah. FAU is also in college in Florida. You have a friend who went there. <laughs> FAU was Fur Affinity United. And uh, it died horribly. It's also my first furry convention. Big gets, okay. <sighs> wow, that bomb was out for blood there. These humans refer to they be as tall as Leon Guard or, or Garamondo. Possibly, yeah. Adeline's barely taller than Kirby. I mean, they also probably didn't think of this, this that far out in advance. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, it counted on me landing as a, on a platform there. So it's one bonus thing over here I missed. here? No, I'm not. Be nice and let me, you know, use my cool move. You 
stay away from it. Here's where I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of soul on the uh, far things. Nothing. Wow. Thought for sure there'd be something hidden up here. Cluster amount of rewards here. Does seem like a safe bet to a mania. Where's the fun? Oh, it's right there. Cool. Honestly, in terms of preference of where you guys want, to, where you all want to go, uh, it's it's up to you two. I don't have a, I don't have a real preference. Again, you two are you you two are the ones who know the city better than I do. Ways to go here, shit. Okay, we got this is the final stand area. Water.
No damage. Mm. Oh, never mind. Okay. Isn't that isn't that Karnov in that fighting game that he's in? Is that is that the reference you're making? Because I, I feel like yeah. I've never played that game. Interesting thing. I'm just gonna use special mode to take everyone out. Sakarnov. I see. I see. I do not see it. Seventy-seven. Nice. Unu? for me. Oh, I have to actually fall into it, don't I? Yes, I do. There we go. Okay, s ten left, so s five left. I was generous. Yeah, it's, it's Kirby. Gonna be, it ain't gonna be the hardest thing ever. Uh, it says it says up here. So wait, wait I need, I need cone mouth. Maybe King Didier's ancestors originally from this planet will explain why he got like, brainwashed so easily. It's like a theory. Definitely would not discount it. <laughs> Illusory Primal Nemesis, Phantom Forgo DDD. What is it? Dark, dark shadow, Meta Knight, or whatever, Meta Knight Soul from, from uh, Triple Deluxe.
real Bowser on the Fire Sea vibes from this. He's not good for bosses. Except when you do that. Next level tornado will be Gre Geese Tornado, Repukin, Double Repukin, Laging Storm. <laughs> oh, this, this is gonna be great when I have to fight him in the arena later. Dude, he's got way too much going on here. with the uh, hits are kind of going down. Cool. Well, that was, uh, that was a fun boss fight that I have to do over now. Oh my god. Get a better ability, please. These are not good. I need that torna tornado. <laughs> what if I need that tomato for later? Like now, because I only have two health bars. Well, I guess I didn't know that because most of the abilities in this game you can get hit out of so No, I got hit out of that I definitely did
hurts where you cut your finger. What happened? Did you get paper cut or did something f like did you drop some? Oh, well, you got cut, so you didn't drop something on it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> was it bad or was it just like a little cut that just hurts a lot? That's the worst when you get like the tiny cut. That then's like the most irritated thing ever. Oh, what is this on? Ew. What the fuck is this? Is there something on my. Oh. Okay, that was weird. It's like a. It's like paper towel or something like stuck on my arm, and I think it got on my desk. I don't know how that happened. I guess- I'm guessing 250 is all you needed to complete this. But 300's gonna be, uh... It's not a paper cut flat pan that you heat tortillas on, got you. Oh. The sharp edge of a flat pan. You've collected all the pieces of Leon's soul. As proof of your courage, you've earned a special figure. Leon's soul, complete. Leon and Carol. These two were the famous leaders of the Animal Kingdom until Leon found IDF-86. After that, he began speaking in a language Carol couldn't understand. She only speaks in meows and formed the Brutal Beast Pack. She still believed in him, so she formed a new identity of her own and followed along. <laughs> Pieces of Leon's soul you collected are shining in the direction of their owner. You could sense Leon go in that forgotten, isolated aisle. Hurry and help him. Uh, yeah, about that. We're gonna go back for a minute. Stock up. Now be a good time for me to get some items. <laughs> well, I got an attack buff. That's cool. about the the tomato and then I ended up not using it. <laughs> Alright, let's use that right away. Double health. Actually, no, you know, we don't need the speed boost. We're fine. Honestly, this is probably better than a max tomato because if I run low on health, I could use that and get two whole health bars back. I think I'll just buy another one. Kinda took having a lot of coins for granted when I had like 9,000 of them earlier. <laughs> and then I blew them all immediately once the post game started. Also again, great thing is that it counts the, the first bar as the extra one. So as long as I have that full bar in stock, um, I can still do the sword beams no matter what. So essentially, I have a I have a whole health bar plus one hit with a sword beam. Dubman, I, I hope Kirby will show up soon. Maricela is making taquitos. So I made a post about if you explained homosexuality to Meta Knight, he would simply stand watching the sunset, saying, "I see." He would just silently contemplate it. I'm not scared, because I've got you right by my side, Kirby. Right? Right? Okay. Double health, 200 seconds of buff, Meta Knight Sword plus one, 300 soul pieces. Let's do this. We're good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh dear god, that's creepy. Just having that overlaid over each other. You know, oh, I see why. You know why? Because F86 was sleeping. I get, I get why it's doing that. Because this is a dream world. And F86 had to hear that voice play every single time someone would go up that elevator. So, in, in, in their dream, that voice is just droning and repeating constantly. That makes perfect sense. Holy shit. It's not different at all, is it, Steve? Commence the meeting. <laughs> that's a different one. I think that's... It's not different at all, is it, Steve? Is the corn when it pins him to the wall. And I think the mating one is about, um... The, the lawnmower? With the egg? I can't remember. Okay, well, I got all of his, uh... That was the chair, don't worry. I got all of his soul pieces, so... He'll be okay. <laughs> Possessed beast for Go Leon. Here, Kirby, use the. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. I know. I'm just gonna use this because Meta Knight Sword is plus one. And I could just do this constantly. That was cute. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Gonna get Zatch Bell. I never watched Z Zatch or Gatch Bell. Oh, oh, okay. We're doing this again. down this time? No. Just gonna make debris. Did a bit. It was decent. Uh, what is happening here? Yeah, by the way, you don't need to dodge specifically the direction that these require you to if you just dodge roll. <laughs> God, what is happening? Stop. Okay. I thought beating him might be bad. Like killing uh like killing Richter in Symphony of the Night, which is another game I should want to stream at some point. Psychic Beast full Soul Forgo. What? 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 What is happening? Fluttering Dream Eater Morpho Knight? This Did my dodge roll not work? This feels like the kind of thing that should have been in, in the true arena. I should have actually had to fight the forego thing. 
Hey, Yashi. Uh. I know he's from Star Allies, and I know there's a, there's a big significance to him, but I don't know what it is. I just know that him being here is a big deal. So the sword beams are so good because they do as much damage as a normal sword hit. And I just got rid of it again. Unbelievable. Alright. No, what is- oh my god, my controls are really fucked up. What is this? Oh god. Ah. Ah. <laughs> when does this wear off? Yes, I I've been told that this is the butterf- like, this butterfly shows up in all the modern Kirby games. Oh, oh god, this just doesn't wear off. Okay, there it does. It- it- there it goes. Technicality isn't even the first game. Oh! You mean like the butterflies you see in the intro to the first stage? They real they didn't think that far back, did they? I might have to play Star Allies now. <laughs> and there goes okay, I'm assuming uh E F eighty six is gonna show up later, like in the true arena. Whew, that was that was pretty cool. Oh nice. You got the Morpho Knight Sword Blueprint. Now you can evolve the sword ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. So we have Meta Knight, Galacta Knight, and Morpho Knight. I wonder what the significance is between them. Or does Star Allies explain that? Kirby was slacking off. He didn't get all the soul pieces. I'm assuming those just got blown out of him when he got possessed or repossessed. I gotta say, it's nice to see, um... It's nice to see, um... You know, Kirby post-game actually having story beyond, like, oh, here's a boss with a description at the end. It's nice to actually see, like, a, like a, a decent story in, the in you know, Kirby terms being carried out. <laughs> Leomon isn't dead this time. I mean, to be fair, he always comes back. Get more credits. It's the same pictures, but like purple.
<laughs> Why does everything taste like purple? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what was it? Um. No, no, it was, it was, he puts the, he puts the thing in the microwave, Fry puts the thing in the microwave that's not supposed to be microwaved, he takes the sticker off of it, and he's like, it smells like blue, and then, um, and then the supernova exploding makes a red, uh, field, and they collide, and it sends him back in time, and then when, uh, what's his name, when the alien wipes his memory at the end of that one adventure, he goes, did everything just taste purple for a second? Vinny's gonna do more of this game. He's really, I think he's kind of been, like, slow to go through this. Is he even at the end of the, I don't even think he's at the end of the ice area yet. Understand why you don't trust that butterfly just yet, anyway. Now a truly happy ending. Yeah, truly happy ending until uh, until I go to the true arena, and then like we get a, another cutscene at the very end, where where Forgo Fectus or whatever comes back again. We're not done yet. Don't worry. Thousand? Okay. This better be the last upgrade for them. Let's get tar cases out. Maybe we can upgrade their stage even more. Mmm, <laughs> coin. Get the sword upgrade? I will. Give me, give me a few minutes. Oh, now they have 80 songs, I think, instead of 77. Toss star coins in the guitar case. Now the bank can perform an incredible stage on an incredible stage and play even more new songs. Oh my gosh, look, Kirby. The Deedly Dees gave us a special figure to thank us for supporting them. The Deedly Dees, it's a local 4D band, the Deedly Dees. They love to jam in front of a crowd and start each request off with a wah wah, let's go. Band meetings at the cafe can get heated due to their different musical tastes, but when the tunes kick in, they fall perfectly in sync. Play Baka Mitai. <laughs> dame dame. Uh, okay. 79 was where it ended before, and now it's up to 80, now it's up to 88, and I think that's it. I'm really glad we were able to find Leongar, oops, I mean Leon, and bring him back. I haven't forgotten, you know, when I used up all my powers to close the connection between worlds. You saved me, Chloraline. You kept me alive and made sure I'd be able to see Kirby again. You helped me when I needed it, and we helped you in return. Now we can all be friends together. Oh, 
Okay, so that's, that's all that is. Sent me something? Is it candy? 90%. Okay, so getting that ending, like, really bumped my percentage up there. I will check that in just a second. glad we're able to see Elphalyn again. You really had us worried for a minute. Elphalyn's power seemed to have opened a stable connection between this world and planet Popstar. This just became our home away from home. Now we can keep adventuring here without any worries. The implication is that the world Elf Elphalyn created runs on a different timeline. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. Ending, true ending, and then mini games completed. have my three figures that I put up there, and then this is, I'm guessing, Arena, and I'm guessing there's three photos for that. Nothing ever happens with this, right? Nope. Oh god, what is this, Kirby fans? <laughs> That's good. It's the SpongeBob Beware of the Butterfly. Uh, poster. The well, Spongebob Elfland reappeared almost immediately it implies that he was with Carol for a long time. I mean, it also doesn't really... The game doesn't really, like... I feel... See, the thing with... I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Now here's the question, do I have all the cutscenes unlocked? True ending. Feel free to shop, stop in any time. Notice how I did not get the figure for getting the true, for getting those though. Because it probably implies there's at least one more. If I can't uh, shoot sword beams out of this, it's not going to be worth it, though. Alright, 15... Oh, I don't have enough coins! Oh, oh, oh. oh, I like this. Because I upgraded this one notch, you could actually see that there's a, there's a pink square next to it. I have enough rare coins, but I need I need the coin. I have enough rare stones, but I need the coin. Okay, let's, let's suck that up. The upgrade is worth it? Okay. All these now to destroy the world, yeah. Oh, right, there's another treasure road now. Wait, what? Evolving every copy ability. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Do I actually have to ev No, but I've done that. Oh, because I haven't actually done this. I'm an idiot. I haven't actually evolved that yet. Oh, yeah, I can read this now, too. Uh, after their fight with Kirby, IDF-86's body was destroyed, but their powerful minds survived. They fled to the isolated isles of their own dreams and brought Leongar with them. To prepare this new vessel, they cast out Leongar's soul, shattering and scattering it throughout the realm of Forgo Dreams. So I could get these now, these four. But these are still locked. Anyone's with a darker question mark are locked right now.
Fish fear him, woman want him. I like how it doesn't, like, reset if you stop playing. It just stays at whatever level of, a uh, fish you're up to. Hufflin's adorable. Yes, he is. <sighs> this is kind of slow, though. First, that fish said Kirby needs a bath. fries now. I don't want to... I wanted the big ones so I could get 500 easy ones. Also, I was like, oh, maybe I could go grind the, um, that awful tilt maze game, and it turns out, uh, you can't. You cannot. Uh, the tilt maze cannot be cheaped out. Uh, you only get the, the big reward once for clearing the time thing. Okay. I know a way to make some quick money here. Ultimate Cup. So there's there's two right now. I didn't do the Ultimate Cup yet, and I have to do that one next. To get a figure, a rare stone, and 1,500. 12 battles. Okay, you're officially entered in the Ultimate Cup. It's about to get intense in there. I can't wait! Yep, exactly. That's what I'm doing. The arena awaits. I think there's only three cups. There's this, the Ultimate Cup, and then, like, the true Ultimate Cup. And since I can enter with double health and item and whatever weapon I want, I can just cheat this out. Except it's not cheating out here. Hold on. I can also upgrade the abilities itself themselves more, but it's also like, oh, that's gonna take so long. This is exactly why I love this weapon so much. Again, the sword beams are ridiculously powerful, and it's easy to cheap them out. Mennonite sword is broken once you get Morpho Knights. Yeah, I want to see it. The problem is, the, the other problem is though, well, I guess it says power is going to be better to begin with. Because I was going to say, I've upgraded Mennonite sword. Unfortunately, the upgrades are, are per, per uh, evolution, too.
I will say, it's very interesting that this game has like a mid-game arena. Like, instead of the arena being post-game only, there's the Meta Knight Cup, which you can do halfway into the game. Which is interesting. It's a way of working the, the arena into the story a bit more, rather than just having it be like an add-on mode. Nine more. King Beetle, Dr. DDD. Kirby, okay, face the other way. Motherfucker, yeah, this is uh, this is broken as hell. It's, I'm not even moving. Penguins can't fly, penguins can't fly. <laughs> I will say the mini boss rush is a little less whelming. It's a little underwhelming compared to the superstar one just because there's so many more mini bosses. But again, they take a lot longer to beat. Pfft, okay. Yeah, alright. I also love this arena. This arena is great. So hard to avoid. But I mean, look how little damage I've taken this entire run. It's ridiculous. Okay, it's the second DDD.
Okay. Going to sleep? Alright, thank you for stopping by, Yashi. I appreciate it. Good night. Oh, frick. Good luck with the farming. I don't think I'm gonna have to do too much. A decent amount of farming. Bodybuilder line. When he's doing that growl while he's doing the slashes, that sounds like what, like the the energy slashes. He sounds like Ganon in uh, Ocarina, where it's like. Yeah! I don't know what that was. It was just some money. All right. Oh, that's probably Fecto Forgo. So many dazzling moves. What amazing skill will Kirby show us next? Will he use more sword beam? Yes, he will. Terrifying. Final battle. Wow, they give you another pelt? Wow. This this arena is very generous <laughs> for what it is. I could take a chance on doing sleep and try to see if I get a buff, but eh. No need. I think we're safe here. top of Shinra Tower right now. This is it, the final battle. Whatever you do, don't get it for snacks now. around, now we're in the find out stage. I just realized you could see how much of its health bar it was going to refill. I lost my sword just as I beat him. Oh, 
Oh no, I still have it. I thought it got knocked out of me. Victory, the ultimate cup. 7 minutes, 35.6 seconds. Wow, our beloved Pink Puffball is the last fan fighter standing. Kirby wins. Kirby wins. I win, damn it. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard-won reward. Well, that was brief, yeah. 1,500 star coins. And a rare stone. And a special figure. Ultimate life form, Fecto Elphilus. This Elphilin, the Elphilin we first met was born from a small, compassionate soul that hid behind greater, invasive ambitions. Without a soul to temper its power, the creature's spatial teleportation ability ran amok, opening mysterious vortices left and right. Now that they're whole again, they're already planning their next invasion. Aw, oh, yeah, Cromer. Delicious Cromer. Oh, it's three stars now. It's three stars now! So, ready for the ultimate test of skill. You can now enter the ultimate cup of Z in the Colosseum. Ninety-two percent. Five stars, 1,500 coins. Five stars, rare, rare stones. Give me the goods. Nice. Oh, that looks broken as hell. This evolution just opened a new treasure road portal in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Go try it out. Oh, is that the one that's where all the butterflies are, aren't they? Wait a second, Kirby. Have we finally evolved all of your copy abilities? That's amazing to think a humble engineer like me got to build every single one of them. I'm honored. I want you to have this special figure. Consider it a cute collectible token of my appreciation. Weapon Shop Waddle Dee. This energetic craftsman opened his own weapon shop in town. He can power up your copy abilities. All he needs is a blueprint, his trusty hammer, and a little elbow grease. Keeps making the headgear for each evolved ability bigger than the one before. That's how you know they're powerful. Before the final battle, a fluttering fiend arrives to cast its judgment. This dangerous weapon grants the form to any who wield it. For Kirby, for Kirby, for Kirby, handling this power is a breeze. I need five rare stones and 2,500 coins to power it up. To get that to plus one. But I mean, even without a plus one, it's still more powerful. Oh! Yeah! Oh my god. Wait, it stays this way? N no way. Hold on. Oh, okay, it's limited. I was like, how do I turn it back? So it gives me the Gigant Sword and the Meta Knight Sword at once, but I, I don't think it has the perfect guard. Oh wait, no it does! What? You're joking! He doesn't dodge roll, he, he teleports! Oh, that's amazing! This ability's gonna be broken as shit, isn't it? Morphonite sword will go really big if you hold down Y to charge it to the max. The sword has a wider range and higher attack at power at max size. It's incredibly powerful. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even bother with those. Those things are, are automated. There's just gonna be a million more once you get rid of one. We just actually, hold on. Copy this. And... Okay. Gonna take a little breather here. Uh, where is it? Okay, options. Ah. 
Ooh. There we go. Perfect. do we need to do here? Alright, I'm missing 10 figures still. Clearing every treasure road stage. Clearing all the ultimate road Z. These I could just get from the gotcha machine. This will be fig added to the gotcha lineup after I clear ultimate cup Z. Unlocking every movie. Beating- okay, so there's- so pretty much everything's tied to the ultimate cup now, unless it's a random one that I don't have yet. Alright, first things first, let's do that treasure road. It makes sense, Morpho Knight Sword, fly, uh, butterflies, and then the butterflies are- there's butterflies over here. Yep. I was wondering what the significance of that area was. Slash, Morpho Knight Sword Trial. Four minute target time, oh my god. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, you can see butterflies in, your, in that area. Tells me this is gonna be a walk in the park. Durians have healing items in them? Really? 3D space, you have let me down. drains life from opponents. What? Wow, this ability is amazing. Say, is that gonna instant kill her? That'd be amazing. Oh, 
no, no, no. Escape. Escape. Just under three minutes so far. Riches. And I click the target time. All the treasure, every treasure road ability by using all your different. You've cleared treasure road by ev. <coughs> Excuse me. You've cleared every treasure road by using all of your different abilities. You've earned a special figure as a reward. Rare stone master. It's not clear how or why the space called Treasure Road started to appear behind portals throughout the New World. A strong energy was felt from within, and rare stones were soon discovered at its source. Congratulations on collecting all of them. Ninety six per cent. Ben Knight's now standing on, on the, uh, the pillar. Ultimate Cup Z. 12 battles. Challenging battles with ferocious bosses await you. Well, if that part wasn't telling you, I truly fear is a butterfly. Alright, three rare stones. I just realized I could do this for quick... Uh, for quick uh, rare stones and coins. So this comes with a figure, and then for beating it, I also get 2,500 uh, coins and three rare stones. <sighs> okay. It's pretty late to be doing this, but... Kirby, I should warn you about the Ultimate Cup Z. The Ultimate Cup Z takes place in some other realm where you'll face intense battles with scary foes. I can't follow you into that arena, and worse than that, I can't commentate over your battles. But I know you'll survive. No, I know you'll win. After all, you just saved this entire world. Now enter the tournament. Soul Melter. Looks like you'll face some powerful foes. I'll track your progress from this room. And of course, you only get the six tomatoes. Thankfully, I have a whole double health bar refill, so we'll see how this turns out. Next time on Ultimate Cup Z. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's like what's his name's attack at the end of uh, Planet Robobot. I took damage. Ow! Oh, this is already off to a really bad start. Not even this mysterious arena, our pink prize fighter is on fire. Dying scribble. <laughs> oh, my God, Kirby, face the boss, please. That last battle looked tough. Keep going, Kirby. We believe in you. Okay, these tomatoes actually refill quite a bit, so I don't have to be too worried here. I dodged. Doing great in there, folks. Keep it up, Kirby, and good luck. soda if you need it. Well, the soda is two health bars. I want to use that until I'm, like, absolutely desperate to restock. That energy drink gives me the double bar, so what I want to do is I want to wait until I'm, like, down to nothing and then use that. Oh, 
bones, defense up, nah, it's just, there's only attack and speed up in this game. Alright, third, third hit refills. Just do this a bit. Hero's a veteran of battle, folks. Some circles call him the Pink Demon. Demon, hey, wait a minute. Look at that, I refilled almost all my health because of that. Come so far, Kirby. Prepare for the next round. We're rooting for you. Halfway done here. Don't let your guard down. Your foes will only get wilder from here. Meta Knight? We haven't fought an evil Meta Knight, though. I thought this fight would be replaced with something else. Okay. This is a new fight. The Lone Illusion Phantom Meta Knight. Attacks are though. Uh. more than one round. Nice. Each enemy is more powerful than the last. Patch yourself up and fight on. God, this is the DDD I don't like. This is the bad DDD. DD Dick. Arr. 
Roar. Roar XD. Come on, we're gonna angle it up. Damn it. Whew. He's still in it, folks. We expect nothing less from the pink demon himself. It's this Leongar. Start there. Except lion. It's me, alien boy. Kirby, fight on precious victories within your grasp. Yeah. Grab this now.
Such skill, so many intense battles. Now you must face your final foe. Good luck. Oh, nice. There was a heal in there, too. There was a cherry. All right. We're almost as good as possibly can be for this. I have a good feeling. Final battle. It's white now. It's Zerua. It's Huisuin Zerua. <sighs> Species born of chaos. Chaos Elphilus. You're right, it is! It's the colors of zero and zero, too. Teleport move, oh god. All will to continue. I, I, I wish I could 
do something there. Shit. Oh, come on. Stop. Yikes.
too much left. There's too much of this left. I can't believe I fucked it up so badly. I am so pissed at myself right now. <laughs> Holy shit. As they say, over. Try from battle 12? Yeah, what, and what's that gonna give me? Fucking patronize me with that bullshit. That's, that's gonna make me restart with, like, nothing, right? All because I dropped that fucking sword. This game is... This game... What the... The, the fucking, like... The, the item... The ability dropping sucks! Why is that a thing? Like, why does it happen so easily? It aggravates me. I'm so annoyed at this right now. Just give me the fucking things I'm missing. Please, just give me the things I- No, cool, cool. That was the all my money. <sighs> Alright. I can't be I cannot believe I got fucked that badly. You saw how well I was doing that entire time, right? To add insult to injury, everything I everything I earn like everything I had going in there is gone now. Man, man, man alive. Alright. I don't have money to buy another energy drink, so I can't do this. Well, here's the deal. Um, either we don't do this or we do it now. Uh, so those are, those are my options, because this is not the stream's not being dragged out. Another, you know what? No, Ma you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe this is a good time to stop. It's been three hours. I usually stop around now. Here's what I'll do. Because this is actually no, this actually works out perfectly. I will grind some money off stream. Get the rest of the figures I'm missing. I'll make sure I'm ready to redo that. Then I'll I'll do that as part of the variety stream that I have planned on uh, on Sunday, which was supposed to be last Sunday, and then got pushed to this weekend, and I got pushed to Sunday. So I'll probably like right after I'm done watching TV, uh, do this, finish the true arena. 
One try, one and done. Won't make the same fucking mistake I did tonight. Um, and then... I will do, uh, the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond stuff. And then, after that's done, I'll do one more Chocobo GP revisit. And then I'll clean the slate next week, and then most of the first half of the following week. Great Ace Attorney 2. And then when I get back from PAX, uh, more Great Ace Attorney 2 and also Stanley Parable. So that'll be, that'll be fun. It'll be fun. We'll get this done. It'll be fun. Okay. Yeah, we're good. 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 It's fine. It wasn't that long, honestly. It, it seemed like a lot longer than it was. How much time, what time was that when I died? Like 15 minutes? And that's because I had to do like six minutes of that without an ability. I... Oh, you know what would fix this? You know what would fix this immediately? Turning this fucking option back on. Oh my god. That would have saved me every single time I did that. I just realized. Because if I have auto swallow on, then whenever this. Oh my god. I turned it off because I was like, yeah, I'm not going to need that. Uh, auto swallow, nah, don't worry about it. We don't need it. Because it's only for enemies and, and uh, copy abilities that that works on. So I was like, well, why even have it on then? I'll just turn it off, because I'm not going to always want to swallow a copy ability. Boy, was I fucking stupid. <sighs> Hindsight is 15 minutes of stream that I wouldn't have had to uh, make up later. Then again, you know, I, I don't know. With all the figures I'm missing, who knows? Though I think after you beat the final arena, you get the, the Waddle Dee who will just trade you figures for coins, but whatever. We could always do it at the end of the next stream. Oh, look. I got two photos. One for doing the Ultimate Cup and one for doing all the treasure roads. So I'm guessing there's a big photo for doing Z above it. Press Z, follow me. Alright, so we're missing one more photo. Alright, well, whatever. I'll take my frustrations out in the citizens of Waddle D Town. Not her, though. Though. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The fuck? This thing has. What, what? What is this ability? Why does this have like eight moves? I get little little F eighty sixes around me. Yo, this ability slaps. Can I charge it more than this? Is there, like, a big charge for this move? Doesn't look like it. What I might do, just to make things a tad easier... I may not just grind out coins, I may upgrade this plus one. Just to give it the same buff that the Mennonite Sword had. And then just... Tear ass. Okay, I'm done being pissed off. Um, thank you for coming, I appreciate it. I appreciate myself for not losing my shit as much as I normally do there. I'm glad I have that under control now. Mostly. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I will uh, I will see you all. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I know I skipped most of this week, but I'm not streaming tomorrow Saturday. I got company coming over. So, uh, Sunday, I'll be back with this. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Chocobo GP. And then next week, uh, Great Ace Attorney 2. 
So yeah, thank you for coming, everyone. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're all sweet and lovely, and I will miss you when the stream is over, even though you'll all still be right here. <laughs> Have a good night, and I'll see you Sunday.